The sun was setting over Bella Riva by the time I reached Carmen's cafe. From the outside, it looked as quiet as ever, but inside, I found Carmen cleaning like her life depended on it. Maria! Oh, don't mind all of this. If Helena finds one speck of dust in here, I'll never hear the end of it! Carmen seemed pleased to see me, but I sensed the fidgeting tension beneath each sweep of her mop. Trying to live up to the standards of someone like Helena seemed like an impossible task. I hope you didn't mind fixing the camera for her. She was furious when it broke. I really need this to go well. If she doesn't lend me the money, I don't know how long I can keep this place going. Carmen led me to a back room, where she'd laid out the components of what looked like a neon sign. I had this made when I first opened the cafe, but I'm hopeless with electronics. So there was supposed to be a sign outside. This might explain the lack of customers. I'd like to put it up before Helena gets here. Can you give it a try? flashes it'll really catch people's eye great idea i think i have a spare part that could do that still needs something else. Maybe we can add one of these. I'll screw everything together again and you'll be set. The sign fixed, we headed outside and mounted it carefully over the cafe door. Oh, that's perfect, Maria. It looks just how I imagined it. When I had this sign made, it all seemed so simple. Oh, I can't believe I might have to give it all up. I hope I've done enough. The smile froze on her face as she spotted something over my shoulder. I turned to see. Of course, my sister owns the only cafe in this entire town that isn't actually open. For better or worse, Helena had arrived. Carmen opened her mouth to explain, but Helena swept indifferently past her. Finally pausing in the doorway, she turned back towards Carmen. The first thing we're doing is getting rid of that hideous sign. 
And with that, she disappeared inside. I hoped Carmen's chances of saving the cafe hadn't disappeared with her.